This is my game controller. There are many game controllers like it, but this one is mine. Without me, my game controller is useless. Hey guys, Link the One here, and I am bringing you a video about Crisis 3, the beta. It is on live, and I think PC as well. I think it's also on PS3, but I think the servers were down or something. I could be mistaken. But I'm bringing you some gameplay. But it's going to be my first game that I played, and it's going to be Hunter. Uh, if you're wondering what I'm going to be discussing, I'm going to be discussing my actual impressions on this game and why I think it's actually a good game. Um, as you notice from my intro, it's a little bit different than normal. I have a Game and Train intro. That is because I support them. Uh, it's a forum I am a mod on, as well as just a site that basically combines the overall fitness and gaming into one life. That way, you keep in shape, and you also get to play the games you love. So I'm going to put the forum and the site links in the description below. So hopefully you enjoy those, and this video should go up not only on my channel, but on their channel as well. But as for Crisis 3, I played Crisis 2, but I never played Crisis 1, and Crisis 2's multiplayer was not my style. I am not a fan of, let's say, clunky, heavy running, which Crisis 2 was to me. It had that kill zone, like, heavy ass. You, you just feel like you are stuck to the ground when running, and I'm not a fan of that. Um, but this game, it actually has speed. You are fast, so if you're a Call of Duty player or someone who enjoys fast pace, this game combines a little bit of fast pace and a little bit of slow pace at the same time. If you don't understand what I mean, there's speed and the elements of running, shooting, but deaths and some events might take a while. And sometimes I'm not a fan of that, but the speed element, I like, I like faster pace, so that's a big bonus for me. Um, and to talk about actual game types, there are two game types in this beta. There is Crash Sight and Hunter, and I chose Hunter first because Crash Sight sounded like kind of like a controlling game type, like a hard point or headquarters, if you know what those are. And Hunter just sounded awesome, and from what I read, it sounded like Search and Destroy, and it is, technically. But the goal is to not die and survive, not to just kill the enemies, it is to survive. So you start off, I think there's about three or four hunters on the opposing team they do have the ability to see you on radar you show up as a red dot and they can hunt you out and their goal is to take out all the cell units which is what you guys are classified as you guys are cell soldiers or something like that and you want to make sure you kill all the cell people but as the cell soldier themselves which you start out as the majority of player you have to keep killing hunters and or it dodging them. You do not want to die, and if you survive, I think it's a total of two minutes, you win that round. Uh, it's a four out of, it's not four out of five. You have five rounds, and I'm pretty sure no matter what you do, you will be a hunter at least once. So you do get to play both sides no matter what. And if you're curious as to how you become a hunter, you basically have to spawn as a hunter, or when you die, you become the hunter. So it's like a infection game mode as well. So it's like a search and destroy infection game type fusion, and I really enjoy it. I highly suggest you guys play this game type if you play the demo beta or get the game itself. It looks very nice. Um, as for guns, you start off with three different classes for this, this uh, game type so far. There's one with an assault rifle, a sniper, and a shotgun. Assault rifle is what I suggest. Uh, it's pretty consistent, gets kills. A sniper rifle is one shot to the head, two shots to the body for the most part. Um, that's, that's only one sniper so far. We don't know. I don't personally know what else we're going to have in store with snipers. And the shotgun I used once. Uh, it might show up in this video, but I I didn't really like it at first. But once again, I only used it once. I might have misfired at the location I wanted to actually fire at, so I missed. Uh, but it looks like it could be effective. I think this is right here. Nope. I am using the shotgun right now. Um, this gameplay may not be that entertaining. It was my first game. Uh, I actually am going to make like a little mini Taj or have my friend edit like a little mini Taj. It's, hopefully he does some decent cool editing. That'd be perfect. Um, but I have some cool clips. I think they're pretty cool. It shows off some of the faster moments of the game. 
uh, some nice kill feeds, stuff like that. Um, I say um a lot. Sorry for that. It's my go-to word for spacing out phrases that I don't have anything exactly to say. But let's get back to the game type. Hunter, um, like I said, you start off those three classes. Those are your three options. As the hunter, you you actually have like a crossbow. And it's kind of like a, it can be used as a sniper. Or you can press, I think, RT and you can shoot it instantly without having to aim it or pulling it back. And you can pop it off. Uh, and it is a one-hit kill with the bow. But there, you do have the melee option or melee option, however you would say that. Um, it's a fist punch, it's a really hard fist punch, but it takes two punches to kill as the hunter if you're going for the punches. Um, but hunter game type, definitely suggest it. Uh, I might actually play more of this game type. Uh, I'm not really a beta person because I don't like being teased into games. Like I don't like playing a game and not being able to fully experience it like at that moment or be able to go as far as I want. I'm pretty much forced to be limited. Um... So hopefully, I play a lot more of this. Maybe get some more gameplay for you guys. If you guys are interested in this game, let me know. Uh, as for the other game type, it is called Crash Site. And the goal, like I said, is kind of like Headquarters Hardpoint, if you know what those are. There's a, an alien pod that is spawned or is blasted through the space into the ground. And there has a certain radius and diameter that you have to be in to capture it. And the longer you're in it, the more points you get. But if you get too close to it at the end of its time being, it will explode and can damage you immensely or kill you. So it's advised to stay uh, on the outer edges and try to take cover, try to kill the opponents. Um, I can't really talk about Crash Site too much because I would rather have a video showing it. That way you can see what it's like. Uh, because you can play either very uh, objectively or very kill oriented. Uh, I play a little bit of both, no matter what I play. I like to win, but I also love to go for kills. Um, and as for maps, there's two maps in this game. There's the airplane one, which is this one. I only seem to play. And the other one is museum, which I had the option to play once. Uh, wouldn't let me stay in the lobby. It got, I got kicked before I could even do anything, because the connection was just not suitable for me at the time. And I still have yet to play museum, so hopefully I get to play that. Uh, but this game seems really fun, uh, good with friends. I would love to play with a full party one day. Uh, but I'm not really, I don't know if I really know many people who play Crisis that I personally know. I think some of my friends are interested, so we might be able to get a group together, but it's probably going to be me and maybe a friend or two. Uh, so hopefully I find some people who are interested or get people interested, and maybe I'll play with them. Uh, I don't usually play with my, my followers or viewers, but sometimes... You need someone to be with because random teammates are not always the most intelligent. Uh, at the end of each game, I don't know if I noted this, I probably didn't. It actually shows you highlights of the kills you had throughout the game, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, and as you can see, I just destroyed that guy in the corner with the arrow. Uh, and I get to spawn as the hunter this time, which is awesome. I think being the hunter is more fun than being the survivor. As the survivor, you are, you're literally fearing for your life. You have to hide, though they know where you are, and you just have to protect yourself at all costs. As a hunter, you fucking have the ability to rush, uh, attack as much as you want, be a decoy for some other hunter takes the kill, and just overall rape. Um, you see how many shots I missed there, but if you get really good at the sh accuracy with it, you can do stuff like that, get a nice two feed. I almost got the triple, but I messed it up. I would have been a really nice clip. I probably would have used it in the mini Uh but I did miss. I might still use it just because it's a. F it was literally the first game I played. Um, so yeah, I'm going to let you guys watch the rest of the gameplay. I'm going to quickly note that I would hopefully you follow not only my channel, but the Game & Train channel. Check out their site. Uh, download this beta, test it out for yourself, see how it is. I think it's different than Crisis 2, and I didn't really enjoy the Crisis 2 multiplayer, so saying that it means a lot more than just saying, oh, I enjoyed Crisis 2, so I'm obviously going to enjoy Crisis 3. I did not enjoy Crisis 2, but the multiplayer seems much different, though it can change. It is always subject to change. This is a beta. You do not know the final outcome, but hopefully it will be something similar. 
Um, that is all I have to talk about. Uh, there, are, I could probably note some more things, but feel free to ask questions. I'll give my answers straightforward. If I don't know it, I don't know it. Um, so I'm out. Peace.